Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, the Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Ever heard the old saying, too many cooks in the kitchen? The first time I ever heard this was from my dad some 60 years ago, when me, my brother Marty, and Dad were obviously in the way of my mom trying to fix dinner in our little 8 by 8 kitchen. As we bumped into one another in this tiny little kitchen, Dad blurted out in a frustrated voice, Hey guys, there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Funny, this comment coming from a man who was terrible at cooking and had no business being in the kitchen in the first place. Yet, too many cooks in the kitchen does accurately describe what can happen when trying to cook up a good meal for your family. And it also gives us a good tenor for the chaos that can ensue when savers invite too many financial cooks in their kitchen in this thing called retirement, which is the topic of today's show. So let's get started. Well, welcome folks to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, head chef for savers looking to retire worry-free and full-time fiduciary, Tony Walker. And before we share with you the simple ingredients necessary to enjoy more of your money in retirement, without the fear of running out of it, of course, let me introduce two line cooks here in the studio that make this show happen each week. America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander, along with Louisville, Kentucky's most laid-by graphics artist, Mr. Derek Hudson. Okay, let's set the stage when it comes to your money and retirement, and what that financial kitchen of yours is cooking up for retirement. It's kind of like these types of shows you see on TV all the time where a head chef is invited to a restaurant that needs fixing as the same plot seems to play out. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, and worse than that, most of them don't appear to know what they're doing. The result? The experience of the restaurant customers is horrible. Well, believe it or not, like the famous chef invited to help fix a broken restaurant, this is basically what I do each and every day. Respond to savers who invite me into their financial kitchen to help create a simple and easy recipe for a worry-free retirement. And over the past 40 years in this business, I have literally met in person with more than 15,000 savers. So to say that I've seen it all would be an understatement. But at the top of the list, As to why I feel so many savers are less confident in retirement than ever before, that's right, there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Whether it's someone at the bank, a stockbroker, a money manager, a tax preparer, maybe an annuity peddler, friend, family, or listen, even a co-worker. In many cases, the more people you have giving you advice on money and retirement, the more likely it is that you'll become dazed and confused and, yes, begin to worry. And while these folks all might have good intentions, what you are about to discover is that retirement planning is more of an art than it is a science. And to be worry-free in retirement, you're going to need someone in your financial kitchen that understands the mind of a saver and, yes, how to keep this stuff simple along the way. So stay tuned because when I return, we'll share with you the few simple ingredients you'll need to create a wonderful dish we call the worry-free retirement. I'm Tony Walker. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Did you realize that if you have more than $250,000 in retirement assets, the government could tax as much as 40% of it when you go to take it out? 
And with current tax rates set to expire in 2025, the taxes you will owe on your 401k could climb even higher. Don't wait until 2025 to see how much Uncle Sam will take of your money. Get a game plan by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. I am America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orner. And Tony, our Tony in the trenches is actually not a question, but something interesting I read as we prepared for the show today. And that's the recent partnership with a huge firm on Wall Street and a huge firm on Main Street. I'd love for you to explain why these two polar opposites are now cooking up products for savers. Very good, Aaron. I like this. So good observation on Aaron's part as to why all of a sudden two polar opposites in terms of their views on what savers should be cooking up for retirement. That would be Fidelity Investments, which is basically a Wall Street firm, and MetLife Insurance, which of course is what we would call a Main Street firm. They're an insurance company. Why all of a sudden are they having something in common? Well, look closely at the subheading of this article. It says, in response to growing concerns among U.S. employees about the sustainability of their retirement savings, MetLife has teamed up with Fidelity Investments to put guaranteed lifetime income within the reach of more everyday Americans. Well, I'll tell you what these uncommon foes now have in common. It's something I recognized 20 years ago when I realized that savers wanted something that could guarantee an income they can never outlive, especially inside their 401k plans. And what the folks on Wall Street did not wish to admit, until now that is, is that the only product that can guarantee you won't run out of money in retirement is, that's right, an annuity, period. Problem is, up until this unlikely marriage, savers could not obtain annuities inside their 401k plans, but rather had to look outside the 401k to secure them. Okay. Now, let's get back to your financial kitchen called retirement and see what we can cook up that satisfies your personal needs while keeping the recipe simple and easy to follow. To do this, I'm going to hearken back to the days of my late grandmother, Hazel, who arguably was one of the best cooks I've ever been around. Hazel was of that generation who learned to cook up great meals without a cookbook, the internet, or the many cooking shows that today we can watch on TV. In fact, although armed with her own experience and flair for which ingredients work best in which dish, I would learn from Hazel by watching her dazzle up this fine cooking and all these great meals for others to enjoy, and realize that her cooking was more of an art than a science. Kind of like retirement planning, something I have learned in these many years of working with savers, that it too is more of an art than it is a science. You know, I came to this conclusion years ago when a large marketing firm paid me handsomely to try to train their advisors from around the country in our process, the worry for retirement. And lo and behold, after most of these advisors thinking there was some magic ingredient to our work, they realized, and I realized, again, that this is an art, not a science, and it's very difficult to train people in it. Oh, speaking of Hazel not having to go for all these different ideas on cooking and being the lone wolf back there in the kitchen and entertaining herself, there was one show on TV that was very popular. See if you could guess who this is. Okay, so how do we at Tony Walker Financial cook up this worry-free retirement, and what are the main ingredients that savers need to have to be worry-free? Well, let's take a look at these, and I've listed these out. Again, we need to keep this simple first and foremost, and how do we do that? by keeping your money safe. Folks, you've got to focus on safety when you get in retirement as opposed to keeping that money in the stock market. Because as the old saying goes, what got you there, i.e. a lot of money invested in the stock market while you're working, may not keep you there, i.e. when the stock market collapses just at the time you're getting ready to retire. You may not want to take so much risk in retirement, and we can help you figure out how much risk you should take, and how much money should be in a safe environment. Number two, guaranteed lifetime income. Yep, you know what that is, folks. Something I affectionately refer to as... Mailbox money! Okay, folks, let's be realistic here. Unless you have a crystal ball like I do, there's no way anyone will know how long you're going to need this money because nobody knows when you're going to die. 
That's the reason we use modern-day annuities to make sure you don't run out of money in retirement. Number three, you got to have a written game plan that's easy to understand. The game plan is the meal plan. It's something that we use for our clients so we can monitor their progress and make sure that they have plenty of money and stay on track in retirement. It's our proprietary software that we use that's only available through Tony Walker Financial. It's not retirement planning software that you might see on the internet. Those are just calculators. This is software designed for savers with a well-oiled machine backing that software up to help monitor your progress. Next up, the other ingredients you're gonna need, you gotta have some access to your money. Folks, the only thing I can tell you in working with thousands of savers who are retired is things will change. Things come up, the unexpected. You can't lock all your money away in real estate investment trusts and long-term annuities and stocks and bonds and mutual funds that could be tanking. You got to have some of that money safe and secure, but also that's accessible so you can get at it without penalty when you need it. Again, make sure you always have some money that you have access to. The next thing on the agenda is know what you like and make sure the advisor knows what you like. Folks, we don't work with investors and speculators. We're working with savers. We know what those savers want, and we know what kind of meal they can cook up. We can either do something like the meat and potatoes, if you want to keep it simple, and occasionally if you want something fancy schmancy, yep, we have the ability to do that too through our Charles Schwab platform and the many strategies we can come up with as we're working with you. Oh, speaking of fancy schmancy, I had a couple in one day, and we were talking about how much money they spend out to eat, and he told me, he said, son, I don't like them fancy schmancy restaurants. And I said, oh, well, I do. Well, what do you like? And he said, tell you what, you give me a bucket of KFC and I'm set to go. So coming in for their second appointment, I had a lot of fun with this. I had Gina run down to KFC before they were to arrive, got a bucket of KFC, stuck it on the desk. And when he walked in, we had a big laugh over that. That was a good one. Okay, next on the agenda is we got to keep things simple. Folks, if you have complicated strategies, investments, annuities you don't understand, you're investing in mutual fund stocks, bonds, you've got statements you're receiving from your broker and you have no idea what the even fees are, you got to make this stuff simple, all right? Next, you got to have others in the, in the restaurant that know how to cook. Besides myself, we have three trained salaried fiduciaries trained in the process They understand what to do, and they're going to be there whether Tony Walker is there or not. They understand retirement planning and are there to help. And their salary, they're not on commission. They're there to help our clients. Uh, Oh, by the way, speaking of professionals that can help, we have 17 total full-time staff, and 14 of those are what I call servers. They're the ones actually out in the restaurant making sure that you're happy. And one of those folks is also our greeter, or what we call our hostess, and that would be Shanna Zachary, who is in charge of all of our appointments, talking about somebody that's going to answer the phone, be there for you, and immediately get you to the right servers, that would be Shanna Zachary. So we invite you to call her at any time. And then finally, everybody's got to enjoy the meal. Folks, none of this is worth it if we all can't sit down and enjoy the experience of working with one another. Because let's face it, you can spend money on good food from some of the best restaurants and chefs in the world, but if the service is lousy, if nobody's enjoying the experience, what's the point? And that's why I enjoy this business so much. I enjoy working with clients, seeing them face to face. And thankfully, I have a staff that's able to handle all the details and the behind the scenes work that goes on with retirement planning. So that's you right now. Maybe you don't have any cooks in the kitchen or you got too many cooks in the kitchen that don't know what they're doing. Why don't you get a second opinion from me, Tony Walker at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Just click on that Let's Get Started button or if the internet's not your thing, just simply call the toll-free number on your screen to arrange that free 10-minute fiduciary phone call. All right, when we come back, interesting case study. This is really good from somebody from a TNT that was told they could retire in 2022. The market tanks, and they have to go back to work. Good stuff coming your way. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. I'll be right back.
Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Welcome back to the Worry Free Retirement. Earlier, we talked about my grandmother, Hazel. Boy, there weren't too many cooks in her kitchen. She was the only one that needed to be there. And this idea of using your imagination to cook up a great meal with limited ingredients. As I like to say, after doing this for nearly 40 years, retirement planning and cooking, I think, are a lot alike. They're both more about art than they are science. And here's where the science from the financial world gets ready to fall apart uh, Aaron, you've got a great Tony in the Trenches for us. Let, lay it on us, partner. Our Tony in the Trenches comes to us from Frank in E-Town. Tony, even though I am only 60 years of age, several years ago, my broker told me I could retire. So I did. However, in 2022, my accounts dropped $300,000. And as a result, I got nervous and am now back at work again. Please remind your listeners the importance of having a written game plan in place that includes less risk before they retire. That is a dandy. All right, let's take a look at this, what Frank's talking about. He's been told he can retire. This was a couple of years ago. We'll get into this. He's 60. The science tells him, the calculations, whatever this advisor told him, that everything's fine. Well, that assumes everything's going to be safe. Remember, we talked about the idea of having ingredients that include safety of principle, which we're going to see what happens. So let's go to item number one. He talks about not having a game plan. With Tony Walker Financial, you're going to get this. This game plan allows us to monitor your progress and to make intelligent decisions about when to retire and when to spend money, something obviously Frank did not have. Number two, this is the other thing the science didn't include, was that in 2022, stocks and bonds would plummet in value. This is called the 60-40 rule and scientifically supposed to be the cat's meow. And we saw that in Frank's case, he took this huge hit and in his case lost $300,000 and had to get back to work. So let's go over to the whiteboard here and see really what happened and why retirement planning is really more an art than a science. And it starts off understanding what I call the three halves of life, okay? Now, this is what we call halftime, and this is really important to understand, and this is what a lot of the financial world don't realize. With a lot of the financial world, let's put this up full screen, Aaron, Wall Street would tell you to just accumulate and accumulate and accumulate money. The reason they tell you to do that and not spend as much is because a lot of that money is at risk, and we saw what happened with that 60-40 rule for Frank, losing that much money and being forced to go back to work. When you get to halftime in this area here, you must start reducing risk. Folks, you don't have the time to go back to work if this market plummets. So as you get into what I call halftime at Tony Walker Financial, we're going to methodically start making sure, assuming you have too much risk or too much money in the stock market or even too much money in bonds, we're going to start tapering that back because we know that eventually, usually it's after age 70, you're going to get into what we call the second half of life, which is a period of time Listen, that most people start spending less and less money. I see this all the time. Folks, many of our clients are over the age of 70. Very few of them are spending more money as they get older. Now, barring some sort of health catastrophe, I get it. I'm just talking about basic expenses. In fact, most of them would say, as we start working with each other, that they kind of wish they'd spent more money in the past because now that they're in the second half, they realize they don't have the energy, wherewithal, maybe they've lost a spouse to enjoy that money. So how do we pull this off? How could we have taken Frank and allowed him to retire at 60? I saw his assets before they went down. I know we could have easily accomplished his goals. We do that through something called the split IRA concept. And folks, this is a game changer. This is really what we do. And this is where the art of retirement planning comes in. You can't have all your eggs in one basket. You can't have it all at risk. You can't have it all loaded up in annuities. You need a combination of items that can be set in motion with the game plan, with a firm that understands how to make sure you get this money, and also make sure that one day you don't run out of it. 
So maybe that's you right now. You're sitting there saying, Tony, I've got all kinds of cooks in the kitchen. None of them seem to be helping me. In fact, the meals we're cooking up are worse than they've ever been. Or maybe you're that person that has nobody helping you. You're going it alone and you need some help. Either way, why don't you take advantage of a free second opinion from us? All you do, just log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. You're going to log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Just click on that Let's Get Started button. Or if you prefer, you can simply call the toll-free number on your screen. Well, you think there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen when it comes to the financial world. When it comes to religion and who we're supposed to follow, man, there's a ton of financial cooks showing up in your spiritual kitchen. But we're going to show you how to keep this thing real simple and have peace with God and that surpasses all human understanding. Definitely going to need a cup of coffee for this. I'm Tony Walker. I'll be right back. Our employee spotlight shines brightly today on Miss Juanita Jackson. Juanita, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, Tony. And when did you start with Tony Walker Financial? I started working with Tony Walker Financial in May of 2022. And explain to the audience your duties. What do you mainly do at Tony Walker Financial? Mainly, I lead the department with new client business for the brokerage side of the firm. The Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab, new business, yeah. And you came out of the mortgage business, uh, but you're doing a wonderful job. But how would you describe this similar to the mortgage business in a lot of ways? You know, we buy homes with our mortgages, but then we're handling people's money. It's equally as important. Um, We're certainly very protective of their assets either way. Um, every individual case is different and we treat them that way. Not like it's not a box store. Everybody's story is different. Their family is different. Their situation is different. And we're careful to tune into that and make sure that they have what they need. Well said. And finally, what do you enjoy most about working here? I really enjoy interacting with the clients. I enjoy watching them come in with a lot of concerns and leaving with a lot of confidence, knowing that they don't have to worry that we're handling it for them and that we're a phone call away. Oh, that's wonderful. So thank you so much for all you do and uh, keep up the great work. Thank you. You are welcome. Wondering how much money you'll need to retire? Probably a lot less than you think. I'm retirement specialist, Tony Walker. And for the past 36 years, I've helped thousands of savers determine when to retire and how much money they'll need in retirement. And I can help you too. To meet in person at no cost or obligation, let me invite you to log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com or call the toll-free number on your screen. We look forward to talking with you soon. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement with the money missionary himself, Tony Walker. Think having too many cooks in your financial kitchen is a recipe for disaster when it comes to retirement? Look at what happens when you invite too many cooks to your spiritual kitchen. Rather than a simple recipe for a peaceful walk with God, these well-intentioned cooks can take what should be a simple, obvious truth about the peace of God and turn it into a confusing mess. Check it out, starting in Matthew 16, 14, where the many spiritual cooks in Jesus' day are totally confusing everyone, including themselves, as to who this man Christ really is. After listening to these so-called experts ramble on with no clue as to what they're talking about, Jesus instead turns to his attention to one of his servers, someone who has been with him for quite some time, a disciple by the name of Peter, and asks this simple question. Peter, who do you say I am? Peter's response, pretty short and sweet and to the point. You're the son of God. To which Jesus reminds Peter that only God could have revealed such a truth to him, a spiritual ingredient known as revelation. It's the same revelation from God that Ephesians 1.18 talks about, where Paul prays about being enlightened for those who are trying to find this peace that everyone seeks. You see, Paul understood what Peter understood by revelation, that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, is totally opposite to the way us humans understand God. And that might be you right now. Maybe you're totally confused as to what to believe about this God and, of course, Jesus Christ, and as a result, not sure what to believe at all. Well, if that's you, if you're looking for that peace from God that transcends all understanding, might I humbly share with you a few simple ingredients to spice up your faith 
and remind you of who this God is and why he placed you and I on earth in the first place. Ingredient number one, know first and foremost that by faith, God loves you. Let's face it, it's a lot easier to get along in the world when you know that the God who created it loves you and I. Number two, know that by faith, God has chosen you before you were even born. That's right, folks. God knew when you were to be born and knows the day you'll die. So be encouraged that he thought that much of you to bring you to life in the first place. Number three, know that by faith, God has forgiven you. No matter what you have done in the past, nor what guilt you might be still dealing with, through faith, you are forgiven. Number four, know that by faith, God has saved you from the wrath to come. I know this gets a tad touchy thinking about fire and brimstone, but when you accept God's hand of salvation, the fear of all that fire and brimstone starts to fade away. And finally, the best ingredient of all for creating purpose in your life and living at peace with God, know that by faith, he created you and I for good works. And not just what we can do for ourselves, but through his strengths, what we might do for the others. And yes, even those of you right now who are retired, there's always someone you can serve. So Christian, you want a daily recipe for being at peace with God? Keep it simple by following these five basic ingredients. And I'll, by the way, you can always add a dash of rejoicing each day, knowing that this very day is from the Lord. And that, my friend, is some good news you and I can take to the bank. Amen? Well, speaking of rejoicing in today, I've got an offer you might rejoice in. You and I talking for just a few minutes by phone to see if we can help you worry less about money in retirement. And, of course, how best to use and enjoy it along the way. So why not today? Log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and click on that little red button to arrange your free fiduciary phone call. That's right. You and I will talk, the owner of the company, to see if we can be of help. And if we can, we're going to be meeting in person to go through a thorough analysis of your situation at no cost or obligation at either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. So do it now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that Let's Get Started, and let's get started putting you on the road to a worry-free retirement. Internet not your thing? No worries. Just call the toll-free number on your screen to arrange your free phone call. Well, that's all the time we'll have for today. Incidentally, next week, we're going to be talking about the things that you should love doing and why you better find an advisor that loves what they do. And also a little bit about this book called The Spark. Great show coming your way next week. But you remember between now and then, if all else fails, you be worry-free and make it a good one.